Mexico's largest city stretches as far as the eye can see and beyond. 22 million households in this country are middle and low income. Only half of them have a bank account. 50% we have doing well with 50%, but we have the other 50% that we have failed. Banks are not serving the needs of the, of the lower income people in Mexico. They've been vaccinated against the financial system. And that's kind of why we did the project, was to create savings products for people. CGAP has brought in IDEO.org, the non-profit arm of the California design firm, to work with one of Mexico's largest banks and come up with a product that will open the market to low-income savers. What we wanted to see was more disruptive innovation. You know, uh, you know, a commercial bank driving a product that was clearly you know, one step ahead in terms of you know, delivering something of value, something uh, 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 that would really serve people in a different way. The team has been in Mexico for the last week. Today, Javier has arrived to see how they're progressing. There is poverty, but it's not, it's not as desperate as you'd see in Africa. What we're trying to target here are those positioned in the $8 to $12 a day income. IDEO's process begins by talking to low-income people about how they manage their finances. Usually we have two or three interviews a day okay. in big cities like this. It takes so long to get anywhere. Now in the second week of interviews, Gabi and Chava are in Chalco, a migrant town on the eastern outskirts of Mexico City. Ah, yeah, look, yeah it's her. Yeah, gracias. She used to have a bank account, but then she got charged so much commissions that she couldn't withdraw any money, she lost all of it. So she has such a negative experience of the bank that she doesn't want to get a bank account. They are basically robbers. People associate the bank with a commission, and if there's any way we can get around that, I think will improve our chances of success a lot. People don't think about saving in the way that the bank thinks about saving. There's a whole suite of phrases associated with keeping your money safe. Tienes guardadito en la casa, ¿qué haces con el...? Sí, la, el dinero que va saliendo, así como era de esto, pues los voy echando en un botecito. No se te antoja agarrar dinero, no se te hace muy fácil porque lo tienes a la vista, ¿ya? Yeah. Ahí a la mano. A la mano, pues sí. Porque, pues, mmm, que los niños que ya quieren algo, ahí digo, híjole, ya se me acabó lo del gas, pues de ahí agarro. Often the most interesting things you hear are as you're getting up to leave. It's, you know, they're like, oh, I just remembered, you know, I keep, I have this box in my room where I have, you know, three categories. People think about projects, uh -huh. not about a savings account. Digamos, ocupo otro botecito igual que lo tengo aparte donde digo este va a ser para comprar las cosas y el otro es para estar dando cambio. People like that separation of money into different containers because it helps to create some prioritization, what they can spend, what they cannot. <laughs> they call this the bunker. It's command central for Bancomer, the largest bank in Mexico. And for the next 12 weeks, it will be the center of IDEO.org's operation. Here on the first floor, the IDEO team has set up their war room. A lot of times, banks and many institutions are focused on expand, expanding access, yeah. right. as if, it, if that was the main barrier. Right. And probably is one of the barriers, but certainly not the only one. I met a few people that that debank themselves because of most mainly because of commissions. And we're making these distinctions between unbanked, debanked, and banked mm -hmm. because a lot of people aren't necessarily feeling excluded, but rather they exclude themselves because they're not finding the offering attractive for their needs. What would bring them back? How do we rebank? Yeah, <laughs> or, yeah. you know. mm -hmm. Banco Mare is known for serving the middle and upper income market. Now the bank is interested in reaching lower income Mexicans. If we are able to successfully find products relevant for, for poor people, uh, this is the right kind of organization at the right point in time to bring these products to market at a big scale. 
this is not going to happen by itself. Big commercial banks that are well positioned are good at bringing a product to scale, but not necessarily at innovating and understanding where the opportunities are for innovation. Muchísimas gracias. We believe our inspiration comes from people. We always start with people, because that's often not where business starts. It is something completely new for us, no? This way to, 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 to manage the ideas and, and to go deep with the customer. We are pushing Bancomer to act differently. They understand the problem and they want to do this. That's why they're actually working with us in the first place. But I mean, we think they need a lot of help and they need to do a lot of work to access this segment of the population. If we have six million customers, you have to survey 5,000 people no, to have information about the market. And these guys, they, they don't do that, no? They only, they, they are working with 20, customers, no? but in a very deep way, no? in a deeper way, and, and it is uh, something amazing no? for us. ¿Y tu mamá ya tiene separado el dinero por, por renta, por pañales, uh -huh. por leche? ¿Tú se lo das separado sí. y ella te lo y guarda ella me así? Lo guarda ya. ¿Y por qué se los das a tu mamá? Para que ella me los guarde, porque si aquí los tengo, luego me los ando queriendo gastar en cualquier cosa. Uh -huh. The concepts that we've shared with Banco Mer so far, we've called them sacrificial concepts because they're really just getting at one question. They're not fully baked. ¿Te gustaría utilizar alguno de estos? En la caja. La caja. ¿Para qué? ¿Qué, qué dinero meterías aquí? Pues el ahorro que lo que llevo ahorrado. So we're using them just as examples to get at discussions and talk to people about what counts and what matters to them. Estoy en tandas. Mi mamá las hace. Almost everyone we, we met during the research was either in a tanda or organized tandas. So people save in tandas because there's no interest, they don't pay any fees, it's like a group savings fund. We tend to start hearing the same things over and over again. And that's usually when we know that we have a direction or we know that it's something important to think about. We believe strongly in making things really visual and putting things on the wall so that everyone can see them. If it's stuck in your notebook, it will never rise to the surface. General observations underneath that one. Insights is kind of things that we hear over and over again. So these are all things that are bubbling up and we're like starting to put little ideas together. None of them are really fleshed out or worked out yet, but um, it's, it's the beginnings. We are going to spend three months in a design phase. No, no, we never do that. No, we spend maybe two weeks or four weeks at, at most, four weeks in the design phase. It has to be a sustainable business. It has to get them excited about it. Jorge has explicitly said they don't need to make a profit, but it also means they can't lose money on it. So it has to be a good idea that works and works within the laws and incredible regulations in Mexico. We don't need to have the high profits of this market, no, but if the if, the, if this market is going to lose, the bank is not going to be uh, happy with that. Okay. After 10 days and 20 in-depth interviews, the research phase is coming to a close. She's got three kids, two are in primary school and one is in secondary. But they do have a big TV. And they have a computer. Cuando compramos esta tele, yo invertí un poquitito más, o sea, tenía un poquitito más de ganancia, porque en ese entonces yo vendía zapatos por catálogo. They acquire things when they have the money together or when they have a yeah. way to go about it. So they don't like things. I mean, two, two things interesting about the TV is that was the discount from twelve thousand to eight thousand, and the second thing is that she bought it because her kids wanted. it. Everyone thinks in terms of what do they need in six months, a year, five years, and that's that's how people organize their money today. In December, que son los seis meses, ya podríamos decir, ah, bueno, tengo tanto, con esto les podemos comprar algo a los a mis hijos, no, o sea, y es dinero que voy guardando poco a poquito y no voy a poder sacar nada. Dijiste que no te gustan los bancos. ¿Por qué no te gustan? Ay, en primera porque me dan miedo. Me dan miedo ahora sí que por los asaltos. Imagínate que tuvieras una cuenta en el banco o quisieras ir a hacer algún depósito. No one trust the channels that we're showing, like either the bus, the module or the bicycle. But if the module 
is inside a store, inside Coppel or inside Walmart, then I can trust it. No tanto porque me dieran el cafecito, ¿verdad? Pero porque estaría dentro de una tienda más seguro. There's cats and turkeys and you know kinds of animals happily coexisting. It's definitely the last day because we're totally out of space on the walls. How the bank can give some additional value yeah. to these customers. And that's what we're searching for as well because yeah. we, we definitely hear security. Yeah. But what else is there besides security? Where's the emotional side to it? Yeah. Or where's, where does it fit into their lives in different ways? You can offer them that their money can be active. That's another value that the bank can offer, I think, to this segment. We keep asking, how do you beat the mattress? <laughs> How do you beat the informal tanda? Yeah. It's, it's, I think, I mean, you have to offer something. I think really clear organization around projects mm -hmm. is one way, possibly. Yeah. Buy-in is really important. I think Jorge is on board. He's really positive. If this process turns out to be successful for you, you as a bank are the ones who are going to be applying Benefit. it, benefiting. Yeah. And what about the, the tandas? It is... Uh, 30%, 50%? 90. 90. Yeah. 90%? <laughs> really? Okay. I think Tanda is a great opportunity, but I think we're planning on, on finding many opportunities. Okay. Each opportunity could have a range of concepts that could be created. So I think we'll, that's what we'll be doing the next two weeks. We'll be you know, connecting the dots, like creating these, these opportunities or uncovering them. The next couple weeks will be really chaotic. We call it synthesis, but it's it's usually the parts where our clients get the most nervous. Adios. We're tossing and turning everything that we've heard and trying to create connections and find opportunities. Adam, sí. pleasure. Mucho Thank gusto. You very much. Sí. Gracias. Right now it's positive. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Uh,